The Speaker of Sri Lanka's Parliament has promised that a new president will be picked for the country in a manner that is constitutional, quick and successful. After the resignation of Gotabaya Rajapaksa was formally accepted after weeks of protests, lawmakers will meet this coming Saturday and the whole process of picking a new leader is expected to be done and dusted by Wednesday of next week. In the meantime, the Prime Minister has just been sworn in as acting president. We can listen now to the Speaker of Sri Lanka's Parliament, who has now accepted formally Rajapaksa's resignation. I have received the letter of resignation sent by President Gotabaya Rajapaksa. The President has legally resigned from his post on the 14th of July 2022. From now, the process of electing a new president will commence. Until that process is completed, the Prime Minister will be appointed to carry out the function and duties as stipulated in the Constitution. Well, there have been scenes of joy in the Sri Lankan capital as anti-government protesters danced and sang to celebrate this victory. We can listen now to how two of those demonstrators have been reacting this Friday morning to the latest developments. Uh, we won everything and uh, we are so happy today that he has resigned. And uh, we feel that uh, when, we, when the people come together, we can do everything. We, we, are, we are the real power. In this country. He had to resign because he brought us onto the streets. He made his own life, but he left us stranded here. We don't eat, we don't sleep, we just live here trying to feed our children. 